We are here at the Kent Allen Elementary's field day to talk about hurricane preparedness. That's right, hurricanes. Are you prepared? I, well, I don't know, but I think I am. And we're going to tell you some facts about hurricane preparedness that you need to know. Definitely. So, so number one. You can't take your pets no. to shelters. So what? No, that's, that's actually not true. You can take your pets to the shelter. Yeah, you can. Oh, uh, okay. Well, number two. Uh, every hurricane's the same. I mean, so you pretty much know what to do if you've been through one before. Uh, actually, not all hurricanes are the same. Every hurricane is just a little bit different than the first. Oh, okay, well. So, well, okay, number three. Yeah. They call those evacuations way <sighs> too early, like weeks in advance. I have plenty of time. Plenty. So evacuations are actually perfectly timed most of the time. We communicate a lot with the National Weather Service to make those decisions. And when you're told to evacuate, you should evacuate early and evacuate as soon as you can to avoid any sort of traffic or backups that might occur. Uh, all right, well, number four, uh, traffic won't be an issue. I mean, I'm gonna have plenty of time. It's not gonna be traffic. I'm gonna be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want for the hurricane. So really, traffic is actually always terrible during an evacuation, especially because a lot of people end up waiting too long when they should have left earlier. Where did you get this list? Pinterest. Uh, number five. So the last hurricane was a fluke. I mean, it didn't even happen. That's true. Sometimes meteorologists can make the wrong decisions. However, it's better that you evacuate and leave, even if you don't have to, than to stay and have the hurricane happen. That's a good point. Well, number six, I live far enough inland that it won't flood. I don't have to worry about that, so I'm good. So hurricanes can bring a lot of rain along with a lot of water. And actually, the more inland that you live, the more chance it will flood because there's less places for the water to go. Okay, I see that. All right, well, number seven. Hurricanes only bring flooding, and I have one of those, like, blow-up camping boats. No big deal. Yeah, fine. So hurricanes can bring a lot more than flooding. They bring wind, rain, you can have thunderstorms, tornadoes, tons of different weather activities can come with just one hurricane. Number eight, I will have access to food and water and all those necessities that I need after the hurricane. Definitely. So most stores are actually impacted by the disaster, just like you were. So the hurricane is going to leave you with less food and less supplies. And most people don't pack enough to stay for an extended period of time inside their home. <gasps> Taco Bell is going to be closed. Oh. <sighs> All right, number nine. The shelter is not going to have anything that I need. I've got to pack everything. <gasps> mm. So shelters are actually stocked with the basic supplies that you need. There are beds, there are cots, there's blankets, there's toiletries. However, it is a good idea to bring with you any sort of non-perishable foods that you might want or shower supplies that you might require. But shelters do typically have the basic necessities. Oh, okay. All right. Well, number 10, I don't have to worry about going to a shelter because hotels. Hotels. They're there with plenty of hotels. Plenty. We're on Ken Island. There really aren't going to be that many hotels available because everybody might have the same idea and take up all the rooms. So you shouldn't wait last minute. Go to a shelter now. So obviously what Mandy and I just said were all the myths about what to do to be prepared for a hurricane when it hits this area. That's why we have Joe here to tell you all the true things you need to do. Joe. Yes. So clearly Mandy and Chris were telling you myths about hurricanes, and it is very important that you pay attention to the truths that I have informed you about with hurricanes, not their myths. Just be safe, people, evacuate early, and always be mindful when at a shelter or evacuating, be careful. Yeah, follow Joe and be safe. <laughs>